illusion that religion um, is, you know, not, uh, there is not enough evidence to uh, believe in religion. Your problem beliefs. isn't religion, it's the existence of God. Yeah, it's the existence yeah. of God, so yes. So let's, deal, it's, yeah. okay, the so let's not mix of all of them, let's okay, take step yes. by step. Uh -huh. So my question is, all of this sophistication uh -huh. and all of this order, that you don't see that there's a creator of this creation. I don't think there's an obvious trademark on the world, on humanity, on the universe. Where where is his stamp? Where well, is the trademark? His if there is, well, I I believe as a Muslim, in the fiqhalk is samawati will are verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternations on the day and the night. There are signs for men of understanding. I believe you understand to a certain degree. How does all of this grandeur, look at that burning sunset. Um, look how beautiful it is. Yes. Where did that come from? Well, th that, that is... Is it an accident? Yes. Yes. What have you seen that matches, from all the accidents in the world, that matches the glory of something like that? Yes, but the glory of this... Forget debating. Yes, I'm asking I think genuinely. The, the, genuinely, the, the glory of, of that red sky can be reduced to a scientific explanation. But at the awe that we see when we observe a sky like this does not come from uh, the from being partly does not come from being a divine creation. It, it, at the awe that we see when we look at that sky is not does not prove in any regard that no, God has asking. endowed us I'm with the ability all of this to see order, this. All of this sophistication, all of this beauty. No. Where did it come from? That's what my question is. If you can see, I don't, a, I don't know. That is my position. But yeah, you don't know. I don't but know. What do you think? Use your reasoning that you're talking about. Where does order come from? Re Where does intelligence come from? Where does all of this ecology come from? Well, is it from nothing? Nothing comes from nothing. Something comes from something. Well, and you know these are basics. I'm not teaching you anything profound. Yes. I, well, I, 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 I mean, you, you say that nothing comes from nothing, which is certainly true within this what universe. But before the universe, outside the universe... We're though, talking about in this yes, universe, well, you and me. Yes, Where did we come from? What is our purpose? We're stardust. We're, we're stardust and carbon. I, I think we're more, more than stardust. In my personal opinion, like if, a, if a theist came up with a statement like that, an uh -huh. atheist would have all rights to laugh at him. So when you say that to a, a theist that we are stardust, imagine how that resonates within that theist. It doesn't make much sense. My question again, uh -huh. all of this order, all of this sophistication, because you saw, you said that the universe is a scary place. Okay. There must be no God. My question to you, all of this around you, this magnificence, mm. the mercy that we have between each other, the love we have between each other, the high intensity of order, where did it really come from? The order that you perceive is grounded in your perception. Yes. An ant is unable to look Perception. at this sky. A bird is unable to understand the beauty of this this garden. It's it, it, that's human. That's distinguishes well, us from Islam, the beasts Allah of the field. He says, "We جَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ سَمْعًا وَأَبْصَارًا وَأَفْدًا." We made for them ears, eyes, and feelings. Uh -huh. But it does not benefit them if they deny everything. So uh, my question goes back to you. Use your ears, use your eyes, use your sense and senses. Where does all of this magnificence come from? I think it comes from my ability to comprehend the world. So this and universe exists in a because of your way. comprehension. Uh, yes, you, you talk of magnificence. That magnificence is accessible because I can perceive it, because I can comprehend it. And those faculties of perception and comprehension are not, are not proof of God. They're proof of a, a very complex being which has emerged so through hundreds These of thousands of years. These things exist beyond yourself. These the, things. The, now, what you have is perceptions to understand yes, these things. I'm now, these perceptions which exist in you do not yeah. exist in behemoth animals. Yes. It's like you said, the ants can't. But yes. you have something which shows some kind of uh, essentialism about you. What is it that makes you have these perceptions and these animals don't? And why are these things like that if they don't indicate as signs to a creator? If the creation does not indicate to a creator, then what benefit is all this rationalism?
and all of these well, I, faculties I, which you mentioned? I think that humans are ultimately social beings. Okay. That we we are we are deeply deeply we desire so, to socialize. We are social okay. creatures, and I think that through hun th hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, our social ability has emerged. To a, in, to, and, and reason has blossomed from evolution this social, this social being. Evolution shows us how A became B, right? Mm. It does not show us how A got there in the first place. My question to you uh -huh. yeah, is how do you use in your reason, your intellect and all of these magnificent things that we learn through high school and university, all of these accolades, what can we determine cause all of this order, this beauty, this magnificence? If, this I, can, if I can step yeah. in with your question of, uh, you're mentioning beauty, you're mentioning order, and you're mentioning complexity. Yeah. In my eyes, I, I come from a quite a similar standpoint to my friend here. Um, those three can only come together if we believe in creation. Yeah. If we believe, uh, because creation it denotes that there is a certain finite point, that we are the pinnacle of it, and beauty and complexity and order all have come together to How? this culmination. How? That uh, things are complex and are orderly and therefore they're beautiful. But, but that's, things that's... are orderly, therefore they're complex. But how? How did that come together? By itself? That, uh, this is what the that question stems is. from an assumption that we are the... It's not an assumption, I'm asking you. Yes. Where does this come together from? All of this here, you see. What is it? Because you're agnostic, so use your reasoning yes. as to tell me if you saw something in front of you with high uh, levels of order. Yes. Where does the, I, nothing is I more ordered than the sky? I'll let you say that. The reason I distinguish, it's a the, yes, and uh, if I was to explain, uh, complexity, order, and beauty for me are completely different because I believe that we are constantly in flux, we are in progress. Yes, we have incredible sophistication, incredible complexity. There are so many moving parts. So. You speak of body, you speak of the sunset, but I do not think that they're necessarily orderly. A human being is ridden with all kinds of disease and perfection, things left behind by the long process of evolution that we no longer need, uh, ways that no, no, have hampered us. Let's just uh, perhaps let's perhaps let's evolution is less not this complicated. Is, this is like parts of the body we mm. no longer need. This is assumptions. Yeah, that they are no longer fun for, for, for functioning, that they're oh, it's a part of. Fact. No, no, they, they argue that this must be a remnant that was become redundant. But in order to say it's re a remnant, we need to know what it was originally used for. But we don't know what it was originally used for. We have a tail bone. Yeah, yeah, so what was that used for? When we There's had no tails. Evidence. When, when, when we had did tails. we have tails? In the back <laughs> bone. In I the think back we, 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 we then should have been sidetracked into evolution, which was yeah. discussed before. Yeah, if I can question. finish uh, my point about why the three are quite different, we look at the sunset and we agree that it's beautiful. Okay. Uh, there is complexity to it, but in my opinion, there isn't much order. The reason why it's beautiful is because it's uneven. It's imperfect and that resonates with us because we are imperfect. Yeah. It's not even. The colors will never happen again. They, they don't yeah, agree with theory. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Well, I, I would prefer to, to finish okay. with the last point and uh, we'll, we'll come back to it. So sophistication is there, but sophistication doesn't breed order. But in that there is beauty as well. And uh, those three can only come together if we have enough hubris to assume that we are a pinnacle of creation. That we are not going so that uh, we will forever be on this planet because we are placed there by the God, for example. Uh, in reality, we're just a mere point uh, in this development. We are at one stage of it. We're endowed with reason. We are a fantastic point endowed in that creation. Endowed by who, though? This is the question. We Try happen to have reason, reason, but uh, eventually it will uh, it will unpack. It will something perhaps more beautiful will be created. So, uh, so beauty who, will be there. Who, Complexity will be there. But order can I, can I, is can I, impossible. Can you deny order? Uh, there is, uh, I'm denying absolute order, yes. Okay, do you, do you accept that there is regularity, uniformity in the universe? There is regularity, okay, uniformity, regularity uniformity, uniformity and stability are these three things in the universe. Because you talk about science, in order for us to do science, we need regu regularity, uniformity and stability. We Otherwise, need constants. We, and we can't mm. do science. So yes. is there these factors, three things I've mentioned? Mm. Are they in our universe? Well, first of all, I would say that I primarily speak of beauty. Uh, let's, we, let's go beauty aside. Rather than uh, science. No, uh, we, no, no, we, let's go back to the, 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 the science, yeah? So, in order for us to do science, for example, this mic here, does it explode? 
you were talking about a specific point in time. No, no, I'm talking about right this second. In this very second? Does it explode? It's very, it's testifiable, it's very easy to think. But if we widen our perception to the great uh, okay. vastness of time, yes, it's not a given. No, no, no. And well, yeah, uh, I will time, time is irrelevant I'll challenge you to prove to me that it will not explode in the future. That's, that's what I'm trying to do, yeah? In order, for example, like, this is electronic, yeah? Let's put this to a side, yeah? Your glasses. Would your glasses explode? They 100, will, 100, given 100, enough 100, time. 100, no, they won't. Why? There is no reason, because if that was the case, you could never do science. For example, your glasses 100 years ago, today, a thousand years from today, will not explode. There is no reason for it to explode. The reason we do science is because we know there is uniformity, regularity and stability in the things that we measure. Like he said, for example, when we look at our constants and when we look at the universe, etc., there are certain things that are set to be its order. So in order for us to do science, they have to be like that. So otherwise we can't do science. For example, if somebody wanted to check my scarf and it just randomly exploded or it randomly turned into an elephant, we can't do science because there is no regularity, there's no uniformity and there's no stability. So what we're seeing the following, we have these factors and they, these are the factors. Now the question that needs to be asked is, these are things that are determined. Where, if there is things that are determined, who is the determiner? Because that's where it all boils down to. This is what we're trying to prove from our point of view, that there has to be a creator. Well, can I just uh, make... Well, you made an assumption. Can, can I just say... There are three points. If, if I make, one, uh, if I make counter, sure. you said sure. that. You're insisting on uh, this uh, point in time. Yeah. Uh, why is there science if we, it only concerns itself with the reality that we experience currently? No, in this constance. given moment? You're saying the constants. No, no, no. They're, no you can only do science constance. because they are constants. You have to. Excuse if you me. believe in for, science. For example, for example. You made a point there. You said that these things were determined. Okay. And I would simply disagree with that Thank assumption and assertion you made there. Yes, there is regularity. Of course, there is order. Thank you. Yes. So you accept there's order. Yeah, so you, was it, you accept there's order. You I'm, said, you I'm said? saying that we as a species can look at the universe and we see patterns. Good. And these patterns are measurable. Thank you. And, and they uh, can be perceived. They're measurable because they're stable. Yes. You cannot measure something that is but not I'm stable. I'm saying it's a huge leap from our perceptions of these patterns and order yeah. to then say they were somehow determined or predetermined. No, no, no. The, yeah. the point I'm making is the following. We have stability, uniformity and regularity. Okay, yes. Meaning that certain things, when you left your house today, you didn't say, hmm, yesterday I turned into a water bottle. I wonder if I turned into an elephant today. So may I ask, what's your, what's your point? Yeah. The point is the following. That there is fine tuning of the universe, that we have regularity, stability, and uniformity. There are certain things that we know. When I put my shoes on, I know my shoes are not going to turn into a pink elephant. When I walk down the road, when a bus hits me, I'm not going to turn into a fairy. I know there's certain things that are going to happen if I get hit by a bus. Therefore, I look left and right. So what we're seeing is that you are sure about that. You talk about time. And you talk about, for example, is there order? If there is order, there has to be a being that set order. You cannot have order from chaos. You cannot have order from disorder. Can I just give you an idea here? If you put a, a load of bolts and nuts and wood yes. into a box yes. and shook it yes. for eternity, yes. it is not only probable but yes. certain that, that, that that collection of material yes. Yes. would uh, clamp together yeah. and, and and you uh, and clamp together so yeah. the wood would clamp together and become, and, and, and become, become, and become something that is become a, a state that, of that, order that, that, that is, that is so, the, no, what's, I, a, what's the probability that is, that, of that? I'm saying, saying, okay, for example, the biggest, that, is the the big, that is the biggest nonsense I've heard. No, no, not from you. Just can, I just say, can, I, yeah, can I just say, okay, Please, so, yeah. so let's say you have a box and a load of atoms flying around yeah. in them. Yeah. At a certain point, yeah. those atoms will, um, n uh, will cluster together given enough time. So in him, but that's not sophistication. You, no, 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 you have. Point. Yes, you are. No, 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 and if I say to you, let's give it one trillion years, would I get a Ferrari? Well, no, but the, uh, the, class, the glass... Would I get a Ferrari? I'll, I'll At tell some you point what, in time, no, I'll tell it will rearrange into a Ferrari. If you give it enough time... Oh, if there's enough time... Okay, would you say, we have you agree with that? No, 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 no. I'm do saying, you agree with that? I'm saying that when you agree with that... Do you agree with that? I need to finish this point. And I think it ties to what I was saying before. 
if there's enough sort of material to produce a card or for glass or whatever, uh, or bolts to produce uh, something more complex, yes, for a certain point in time, they will. And then they disperse, they'll form a glass, or okay. that little mechanism of yours in the box okay. will break. But can I and say you're something? saying that there's no point of studying that mechanism no, that no, no, appeared I, I, out I, of bolts. I never said that. No, you, you, you said, said that, that it needs a, a certain constant. The mechanism does not need to exist forever. No, that's fine. We exist in that mechanism. We need to that's, comprehend it. That's, we that's we fine. make sense of the environment that we're in. That's we fine. know that we'll, a car came from nothing, it will become nothing. But yet we're endowed with this chance to inhabit it. Okay. And we are concerned with their rules. Okay, that's fine. The, you, uh, another point I want to make, if you give me a chance, you raised multiple. Uh, you really concern yourself with theoretical physics. It's such a wonderfully marginal part of science. And of course it's easiest to uh, criticize because it's uh, so ephemeral, so hard to prove. But really what the uh, uh, majority of science concerns itself with is our existence here and now. What Quran concerns itself mainly, as much as it contains wonderful Theology. ideas about the universe and how the world works, it mainly deals with human interaction in relationship to creator to each other. And the creation that is of the purpose. You would that's agree. what the discussion yes. is about. You would can agree we, that can we, can we just stay on topic? Can we just stay on topic? Because you it's, said it's an example. I understand. What you gave an example of but that. It's it's enough. Is it, I'm just uh, but, saying but, that if uh, if Quran deals with it, but, then certainly we but, want to focus on the things that are in, within our control, I, I within our vision, I not something that is happening. No, far no, no, away, no, no. not glasses, I, I, I not Ferraris. But, but the thing is, we're going with your worldview. You yeah. made a claim that if there's enough time, the Ferrari is possible. The water Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Well, Actually, I, 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 I've, I've no idea. I've no but, idea. No, it's very yes, simple. It's wonderful that you say that, really, because it doesn't ultimately matter. No, it doesn't. Just because he says, I don't know. But what does this prove? What, let me tell you what it proves. Firstly, do you agree with the statement that he made that if we give it enough time, that we will get a Ferrari? Energy can't be created or destroyed. And the atomic composition of that glass will disintegrate, it will fall apart, but the energy that was present within that glass you're describing, that energy will remain in the universe. And I'll just ask a simple question. And if I'm we gave it enough no, amount of time, would we get a Ferrari? I'm, I'm saying it won't go like that, obviously. Of course, we're not going to be saving. But I'm saying, I'm, 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 yes, I'm if saying, we gave that, of I'm of saying that the atomic composition of that glass could ultimately re-emerge itself into a for into the Thank energy, you. the so energy, saying yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. but not not that it sunny pops into I never, the Ferrari. I never said, I never said that. that. No, now, now, this, saying that the energy could be reused. Yeah. The simple question that will make you understand that what you're saying here is fallacious. The elements to make a Ferrari is not in the glass. How could you? How is the factor of time that if you have enough time, all things are possible? When the factor is the following: if you don't have the ingredients to make a Ferrari, you will never, ever, ever get a Ferrari. The fact that you're seeing enough time means anything is possible is absurd because we're seeing the elements to make a Ferrari is not in the cup. How do you make a Ferrari when the elements to make the Ferrari is not in the cup? That's all I want to say. I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying for a second that the, a Ferrari would suddenly merge out of this suddenly. glass no, no, cup or a mini time. Ferrari. Your name is Strobo. You're still running our arguments. No, you could go <laughs> around in a car. You could, yeah. you could like a toy car out I, of a I cup. I never said that. I said there is nothing in the well, cup. But that's Ali, what you want. Sorry, because well, sure, there is energy in What that do you think cup, is more likely? There is a creator or that water over a period of time can molecularly restructure itself which into is my a point. Ferrari. Thank you. Which one is more, honestly, answer, answer Look, my, my question to you. Which one do you think is more plausible? That there is a creator to the creation or by a, a series of accidents over a long period of time, something simple like yeah. water entered, became something complex like a Ferrari. Which one, can which one makes sense? more logical sense? Can I scientifically, say, can I just no, no. Say, we're not, we're not being into science, what I'm, logic. What I'm in talking many ways, about, in many ways, I I really, I'd, I'd love to, to stop point. talking about Ferraris yeah, and know, glasses. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure someone has a wonderful time who really is into quantum physics, but that's not science, that's not our well, can experience. Can you answer question? But the, um, the, to answer your question, it's, uh, uh, we all, I think we all have a sentiment that uh, there was 
uh, there was uh, nothing before, and we are also tending towards disintegration. There's idea yes. of a, a, uh, something apocalyptic coming. We have the idea, the notion that everything is in flux. It, I, that is the probability. That is something we can agree on. Is now, that so our creation? Our creation. Which one is the question? The question is more probable. Which one is more probable? Which one is more probable? There is a person. No, no, one Is there a person that knows how to make? One second. This question is the following. There is a person in the glass. Oh, that knows how to make a Ferrari and a Ferrari appears, or there is nothing in the glass and a Ferrari appears. Which one makes more sense? This is this is a ridiculous way of phrasing this question. Oh, this Come on, no, no so I'll tell you why it's I, absurd. I because Please we will question. we will descend into the ground Please and we no no no. This is important. Okay, okay. We will descend into this ground one day. You will die. You will be a, a decomposing corpse with maggots. Uh, devouring your flesh. It won't be a pretty sight. It'll be a buffet. But the any, it will be a buffet of the worms. Free buffet. But, but the energy that okay, is okay, okay, currently okay. possessed in you will disintegrate into the ground. Trees will lap it up. Worms will be eaten by, by <laughs> birds. And, and that energy just... will ultimately be redistributed but into the eco but you're not ecosystem. Not this is just a question. Because you are saying, I'll question. tell you question, why. What was the question? Because you are, phrasing, the question? you are phrasing this in a very absurdist manner. No, no, I'll say the question. Your question is correct. Because you know when you ask us a question, it's obliging on us to answer in the most simple way. If we ask you a question, Question is obliging yes. on you to answer yes, the most okay. In terms of probability, yeah. no, in terms of probability, mm. there being a creator for the creation, yes, okay. or that w something simple could over a period of time turns into something mm. complex, like water turn into the Ferrari, mm -hmm. even though the original molecules yes. aren't there. Okay. Okay. Which well, one, honestly, from your heart to hearts, not for the sake of arguing, mm. yes. would you admit? I know the answer, and mm. I think everyone who's listening knows yes. the answer. But I'm having difficulty hearing. From no, your mouth. Probability is a wonderful thing because it is equally as likely that equally. there was a creator. Yeah. Uh, the fact that we, uh, or that no, there was nothing, the fact that we is exist. Is it equally likely you're saying? Uh, Just so I understand back, uh, the answer. I think it's equally as likely. And let me say why. Because probability is a wonderful thing when it comes to eternity. Human beings now worlds are so complex, the chance of it is so minuscule and imperceptible that it's the uh, same as there being a god. And you can make a conclusion from that, that if that is the likelihood of us existing, then there definitely must be a god. And many more Do you know Stephen Miller's experiment? That is, uh, which is please enlighten me. Stephen Miller in the 1950s, he done the primordial soup experiment, mm. wherein he got molecules, which mm. he assumed at that time yes. was the cause of the universe. And mm. he shook it up. And the yes. best he got over, and he, he sped it up, was just the combining of molecules. But there was no restructuring into something complex and the, and the argument against this only shows that you needed a higher intelligent being Stephen Miller the scientist in order to create this change of molecules this would have been a better argument for you but it's, it still falls it's a, it may falls ask, down on its feet because it shows that you need yes. an, an intelligent creator mm. to make any form of intelligence okay. which we see across okay. the world okay, I grant where you did this, this come wait, wait, from? I, you grant, you, I grant you this so there's an intelligent creator okay, okay, is, okay, this, okay, is this creator um, okay. complex? No, no, no. Did you, did you, did you no, say no, Are you saying it for the sake of it or are you genuinely accepting yeah, it? I, no, are, I would like are you an atheist or a deist? No, no, let me are finish this point. Are you an atheist this or a deist? Well, then we'll find out if you can respond to this point. Let's then go. maybe I will I need, convert. No, no, no. I, but, I don't want you to convert. But, no, but he's got a good question. Let's take it step by step. No, no, no. I want to ask you a question. Is he saying it for the sake of it? I grant you. I grant you. No, why do you grant me? Is it because it makes logical sense? No, I would like to No, I'd like to put this to you. Okay, so is this creator organized? Before, is stronger. he structured? Stronger. Before we go yeah. to, okay. are you logically so accepting this? Who created the creation? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. That is the essential who argument. Did the that is what who I did the like bachelor marry? Yeah. Who did the bachelor marry? That's the answer to your question. It's a logical impossibility. Exactly. But when something is created, 
is no longer the ultimate creator. Exactly. One of the attributes of the ultimate creator is that he is uncreated. Exactly. When you ask someone who did the bachelor marry, yes. it's the same as saying, because the bachelor by definition is one who does not marry. So me asking you, isn't the problem of possibility, okay. is a logic no, for my absurd, question. No, that's because you so are the bachelor by, No, no, I'm sorry, no, sir, you, okay. but bachelor yeah, by definition is one who is not married. Yes. So the um, question you're, is flawed. Yes, but so you are so, confusing linguistics to no, no. ontology. I could define the glass as a glass that can make Ferraris. You are defining God as an uncreated deity. But then you just made the glass the creator. But you are using language yeah, to, to then put, put, you're pushing on... So, so therefore you don't believe there's a creator, you just said it for the sake of it. I'm saying, I, I'm you. saying... That's what I was asking you. Okay, I, yeah. You don't I'm, believe it. Wait, Eva, what do you saying, think? Or do you, did you understand the argument? Yes, it's not yes, a, yes, simply yes, a linguistic yes, argument. If, uh, if you want there, uh, there a personal, uh, that's generous of you to offer uh, um, me to say my personal opinion, Opinion. I think that uh, in seeking absolutes, uh, we are tending away from humility and towards hubris. And that is my big challenge to uh, our religious ideas. Uh, uh, you are attempting to now find an absolute truth, to be absolutely certain that what you believe in is what is definitely true. Uh, when you asked me of probability and I gave my answer, is that in this, uh, is that they're equally as probable. I do not seek that absolute truth. I do not want the theoretical physics to find the answer to the universe. You follow as absolute... much as I don't want God to come and manifest himself you, to you, me. You what I concern and myself and with and is, is you, in you this sort of uh, if you finite... Absolute, are you, do, you do you believe you exist? Do you believe you exist? I certainly exist, yes. Why? That's an absolute statement. Hmm? That's an absolute statement. Do you believe when you cross the road and you get hit by a bus, would you get hurt or not? Uh, issue of scale is uh, the caveat of your argument. It's the trap that you're laying out for me. I'm not laying no trap. Um, I'm just having a discussion. No, I, don't, I don't want to seem I'm no, in a trap. No, uh, no animosity here. Uh, same, no, same, same. What you are, um, uh, what you're saying about absolute of my, uh, of what I believe in, is not an absolute of glasses and thermodynamics and God. Those are absolutes of quite a different scale, and that's when my argument of humility comes in, and the absolute of that humility why, 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 from religious. Why do you not, why do you not have humility because by accepting you, that you don't exist? You have just you equated should... my personal belief yes. about my existence with the global order What's of the universe, the and I think that is ultimate also, hubris. But yeah, you say my, hubris, my personal but opinion has no. To suggest that you exist has got nothing to do with it. It's not a question of humility. Let's not really over inflate this stuff, inflate it to something it's not. The question is, do you believe in absolutes? The answer is yes. So why do you reject God? Because apparently you're saying you don't believe in absolutes. But he's trying to show you that your standard has to be regular. If you believe in absolute here, no question of humility or hubris or anything. If you believe in the absolute that you exist, then why can you not believe in the absolute God, your creator exists? Not only that, question you know, it's not a question of piety or humility, Hamza, this also, is just Hamza, over inflating also, the conversation Hamza, with words also, which are non-necessary. He's accusing us of saying we're not being humble enough, yeah, this is what but, it is, but, but again, it's not you're actually yourself. That. that is my reflection You just it. said hmm? that nice words, but that's yeah. not humble in itself. You're saying we're not humble. No one has accused you of not being humble. But this is not a question of humility. Our question is, does a creator exist? And this is what we're trying to get to. You have two probabilities. No two probabilities are ever 50-50 either, by the way. You always act on something whether you know it or not. You don't know if you're going to get knocked by a bus in that second, but you still cross the road. Why? Because you believe in absolutes and standards and the constants, which Ali was saying, that the universe operates on constants. These are laws. Laws come from lawgivers. Where is the lawgiver in this situation? And they're, and they're absolutes. Like your, your, the fact that your scarf won't catch fire instant is an absolute that we know. And that's how we do science. Yes. That's what Precisely. we're trying to say. Precisely. Yeah, that's what we're trying to say. The, the absolutes of, you know, scarves catching fire and what is immediately accessible to me, uh, in, in my reason, in the senses that I'm endowed with, I can draw certain conclusions. I also believe that there might be absolutes out there. I believe in their existence. I'm not, uh, I also believe that I cannot access those absolutes. But what I can access is what is immediately around me. Okay, but it's, what you uh, cannot access does not mean it's not true. For example, no, no, maybe, no, a tr no. maybe a true tree in the Amazon fell. Did we observe it? No. Does it mean just because we didn't observe it, it didn't fall? Of course not. So just well, because we, we have we, minds, so yeah. he has a mind. Exactly.
huh? we don't see these things per se, se, you know, in terms of perception but we know it from inference likewise if there's creation around you and you know nothing comes from nothing then this must come from something and this is ultimately what we're saying let's bring it to a conclusion anyway I think uh, for me and personally yeah, we as Muslims believe that there is a creator we as Muslims believe that creator is only one now we haven't developed the argument maybe we can do so another time but this is what we as Muslims mean we believe that creator is merciful as he, he has sent to us loads of messages detailing that Allah God Almighty he wants to be worshipped this is the purpose of your creation so you have a purpose and you have a creator and for these reasons in Islam we believe you are created so something again uh, I mentioned this wafi anfusikum and in your own selves afala tubsirun do you not then ponder all of this law all of this order it cannot come from nowhere it has to come from somewhere and this is where we say it comes from God Almighty anyway have a, next week we'll continue well, Sadi, if I may have my two sure, final sure, sure. closing yeah, words sure, um, I believe in the irrelevance of the question of creator <laughs> uh, the things that are immediately around us are the ones that are of primary concern to us primary concern of most religions the order is not complete the sophistication is there but beauty transcends those it will continue to exist and we will continue to ponder the immediate vicinity of ours and that is what we need to focus on that's the ultimate uh, reason for religion is to give us the tools how to interact with what is around us by um, broadening the debate to the absolutes we are trying to give ourselves greater confidence to be less humble to uh, we need to focus on what is immediately around okay just my final closing statement is that we talked about certain stuff like when it comes to order and disorder but the thing is here that for example we talked about that the the the, the concept of inf infinite amount of time meaning all possibilities uh, possibilities are possible is fallacious because the factors of something a ferrari coming out of a glass is an impossibility and time is irrelevant to the equation that's what we're trying to say that when atheists come and say infinite amount of time infinite amount of possibilities is nonsense because the elements to make that thing if they are not in the glass you will never get that thing so time is irrelevant number one and number two we talked about constant things for example regularity stability um, and uniformity these are the things that we use in science to come to certain conclusions which shows that there's a fine tuning of the universe and all we're just saying is that in a nutshell that if there is order that order cannot come from chaos we know there is knowledge in our DNA therefore there has to be a knowledge giver and all we're just saying is in a nutshell is that that points to a higher being strong oh well, that's your last statement um please. yeah well I, I think the uh the difference between us, of course, is that um, I don't believe that these. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, um, sorry. These rat. Yeah. Thank you. These. I don't think these uh, faculties that you're describing point to a creator. Unfortunately, I mean, I would, I would like there to be some great deity in the sky, but alas, I don't see any evidence or any compelling enough evidence to suggest that. Um, maybe we are made in God's image, but I mean, God, what, what wretched creatures we are. And, uh, you know, I, I, what, what a God would make us. That's what I... Uh, well, the, the, the thing is, just to touch on an Islamic perspective, God doesn't care how wretched you are. He just asks you to acknowledge him and turn to him. And he wants a relationship with you. He doesn't, he doesn't care like how wretched you are. He cares about you repenting, acknowledging him, and being, you know, just the way you acknowledge your father, your father and your mother brought you to this age, I think they'll be very distraught if you were to turn around and say, I'm going to go thank Ali because Ali's done a lot for me and you've done nothing for me. Uh, it'll be a form of ingratitude. So what we're just saying is to acknowledge your creator, he loves you more than your parents and he wants the best for you. Well, I, thank you. Thank I, you so I don't much. think uh, we're... As usual, it's a pleasure. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure for provoking. Yes. Strong vote, always. Thank you guys, thank you very much. Thank Again, you, forgive you. me if we came across a bit condescending. No, no, just, just, it's just a bit challenging. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, not at all. We're, yeah, we're here too. Thank you. I like your hat, by the way. I'm not arguments.